So today we are going to be talking about how to create a glass material inside of Maya and Arnold. And in the earlier video, as I said, we have already discussed a little bit about how to create a glass material, but not in depth. So today we are going to be talking about how to create a glass material, how to create, you can say a frosted glass, or we can say how to create those liquid tea material kind of thing. So uh, there's one thing to keep in mind, as I've always said, always try to create your own materials. Don't dip, uh, you can say rely on the preset. That's why we are going to be learning about how to create everything from a glass material to a frosted to everything by hand. So we really need to understand how these uh, parameters work, what does that mean and so on. So let's get into it. First, show, let me show you my scene. So I have a basic 3D skull model and if i show you my ipr as you can see i have one hdri going on and that's it so i'm going to get into my skull cam all right and i have no material assigned so i'm going to pause this now and i'm going to assign a new material arnold and a standard surface so as you can see we have a simple stand surface now the first thing is the base color obviously we are creating a glass material so we are not going to be using any base color so i'm going to turn this off now specular, uh, we are going to dive into specular later. First of all, we have to come to the transmission. Now here comes, uh, basically transmission has all the magic that requires to create a glass. So the first value we have is the transmission weight and I'll also be talking about all the technical definitions of these um, parameters. So uh, the transmission weight basically allows the light to scatter through the surface. So if an object is opaque, the light won't be scattering through the surface. It will be completely bouncing off like right now, as you can see. But if the value is set to one, that means the light can pass through your surface. So uh, I'm going to make the weight one and instantly, as you can see, we get something. Uh, you can say relatable to the glass, but not exactly. Uh, so there's one thing to keep in mind uh, when you're creating a glass material is that always check if your objects opaque is turned off click on your 3d model go to arnold your 3d model shape arnold and opaque and what does this mean it basically means that arnold treats everything as a matte object so we have to tell arnold that the object or the shader i'm creating right now is not an matte object but a glass material everything that is relatable to refraction or transparent you have to turn this off Okay, so uh, with that, let's move on. So I'm going to call this glass. Um, so the next thing is we have color and this is just a transmission color. So if I take the color and take something like this, so you have a nice color or you can say colored glass going on, which looks really nice. So if you're creating something like tea material, or uh, ice tea or something you can pretty much play around with your color and you can create pretty interesting results as you can see so it's really nice i believe so i'm going to keep the color to a white for now and uh, the next thing we are going to dive into is the depth and the scatter and this also kind of like plays an important role now the depth controls the depth into the volume at which the transmission color is realized so if i increase the value which means less absorption and scattering so if i increase the value the glass will absorb less light uh, as similar to as an opaque object since the light bounces off an opaque object so if i increase this value all right let me just show you if i have this color and if i differentiate with something like this color okay and as soon as i increase the depth we'll slowly start to lose that bluish color so as you can see what depth is allowing is uh, you can say less absorption so if you have like a medium kind of like glass which has a very thick or uh, larger broadness you can increase the depth pretty much or you can use this also scatter medium to pretty much change the overall look and feel of your whole sc uh, skull sorry your glass so this is pretty interesting so it really is depends on you if you're creating something like a window or a car glass or something you can pretty much increase the depth to around 5 or 10 and you'll be good to go but that totally depends on what type of glass material you have right so if you have a really thin glass you don't have to play around with depth 
all right you don't have to limit your you can say scatter or absorption so if you are creating something broad graph then you have to manage this all right uh the next thing is scatter anastrophe and uh, this is kind of like the similar thing but let's talk about scatter first so what scatter color does why we have two colors the first is transmission color and the second is scatter color well scatter color is suitable for any liquid fairly thick or you can something like milk you can say honey or very deep water or something so that's why we have a scatter color like for example you are creating something like this let me make this so this is like for that kind of thing to create a very thick liquidy kind of look so that's why you use this scatter color very wisely if you're like going for honey or something like that so you'll get pretty nice effect uh, the next thing we have is scatter anastrophe and uh, this is basically a directional bias or you can say the scattering now the default value is always set to zero uh, but increasing the value or you can say light will scatter kind of in evenly in all direction like xyz all the axis so if i increase this let me just um, change the color and i'm going to add a little bit of depth as well all right and i'm going to make this zero again sorry zero again so as you can see we have something like this uh, now if we make the scattering effect or you can say anastrophe in the plus direction in the forward direction uh, the light will you can say move forward but if you take this same value into the minus direction uh, the light scattering will go in the negative direction let me show you how, how it works so if I increase this as you can see the whole light passing by so right now we have no depth kind of thing going on right less absorption kind of thing uh, which depth is supposed to do like less absorption still by increasing the value of anastrophe what we can do is we allow the light to pass through it right the same goes for the negative direction okay so i'm going to keep the value to something like zero so we get something like uh in between of the, if i increase the density of this color to something like this and same with this all right and now if i change the value you see pretty much a difference kind of thing let me just decrease this values to yes perfect so now you will easily see the difference all right so it's really nice that you can control your glass through these values all right so i'm going to bring this back to something like this and change this to back to white again now the second thing is a dispersion abbey uh, now this is uh, have you seen a crystal material it's similar to that when the light is passing through for for example if you have seen a prism experiment uh, there's like you throw a white light onto a prism and it showcases seven colors if you throw seven colors on it it will show you white color so dispersion abbey will create a crystal material which will give you all these dispersion and everything so everything the light is passing through you get this dispersion don't overdo this uh, and only increase the value of dispersion if you have material similar to crystal otherwise don't use this value if you are not going for a crystal effect don't use this value so i'm going to make this zero and extra roughness is just another like extra roughness as the name goes you'll get the roughness value something like this uh, i don't suggest using this because uh, we don't actually have to use this uh, because we already have a roughness value on our specular which kind of we use for uh, you can say frosted glass for example we have zero value in our roughness channel but if i increase the value uh, for something like 0.3 as you can see now we have a frosted glass all right so it looks something like this so if you are going to create a frosted glass or like let me show you if i add some primitives to it and let me just stop this i'm going to select my 
sphere i'm going to bring it over here and let's see now so as you can see you have all this frostiness going on you can clearly not clearly but you can like see an object inside of your frosted glass so it's a pretty nice effect um the next thing that we have to look at when you're creating a glass is something called an ior value and what does ior value means i'm going to make the roughness to zero again so the ior basically means uh, index of refraction uh, i have some couple of uh, you can say values going on so the refraction value of water is 1.333 and glass is 1.5 to 1.7 as you can see the default ior value has been set to glass value if you are creating a diamond material you can apply these numbers to your ior values and this will just kind of depends the ior refraction decides how much light is passing through your surface right so if i had to create something like a water all right so i will basically put like 1.333 and now this material is completely relatable to you can say water if i change the value look all the specular and everything how it behaves so if i change it to something like 2.418 as you can see it completely changes the overall look so that's why ior plays a very important role when it comes to creating a specific a glass material so 1.5 and we have a simple glass if you want a diamond you will probably put this value so whenever you're creating a material make sure to check out check out their refraction values it will really help your material to give exactly that kind of look and feel so this looks good all right so i'm going to stop this now and uh, i have another scene as well i'm going to close this for now all right so yeah uh, i'm going to turn off my skull now i have this wine glass and uh, a simple scene going on so let me just go into my wine cam okay let's go to anil turn on our ipr so we have this scene going on all right a simple wine glass and that's it um i believe i've like added a something like this which is going to be our liquid all right so first of all i'm going to turn this on all right uh, let me just add a quick color to my floor so i'm going to select an anil science surface i'm going to call this floor sorry floor and uh, i'm going to make the base color to completely black and something like this okay and the second is now we can turn this on i'm going to add a new material to my wine glass and um, let's call this wine glass okay perfect so i'm going to make the base to completely zero we don't need any diffuse color it kind of look nice though but anyways so moving on to a transmission let's make the value to 1 to create a glass material and the second thing is to again as i said uh, make sure your opaque is turned off so i'm going to go to my glass shape and turn off my opaque so instantly you see something as i said uh, this is opaque turned on and this is opaque turned off so if you are creating glass material you have to turn off opaque uh, the next thing is uh, since this is my default uh, glass i'm going to keep the value ior value to the default right i'm not going to mess around any color or depth uh, since i'm pretty good with this default glass um the next thing is uh, this one which is our liquid so i'm going to create a new material for this go to anil stand surface let me turn this on and let's call this liquid okay so the base color is going to be zero again transmission value to 1 and click somewhere else and click on your object again and turn off your opaque so i'm going to go into my liquid again and uh, i'm going to go to my specular and change the ior value to something like 1.33 so that means it's a water refraction value the second thing is to change the color to something like i don't know this yeah 
so uh, as you can see instantly we get a pretty nice result depends on what you're creating obviously let me go back to my wine cam so you can pretty much mess around with different kinds of thing like what kind of liquid you're creating so this really gives a pretty nice feel to your uh, I, mean, I think I'm going to give this this color and in the scatter I'm going to give this kind of color and increase the depth All right okay I think I have to change the color mm, yeah there we have it I think it's too much of a blue okay so if I increase this value I'll slowly lose my uh, you can say the yellowish kind of color I think I'm going to make it somewhere near the orange color right and decrease the value of depth so now as you can see we have pretty interesting scene going on so uh, there's one more thing to keep in mind when you're rendering this so let me show you the whole rendering settings uh, one more thing if you're like creating a liquid make sure your roughness value is set to zero uh, since our glass is a default glass I'm going to keep the roughness value to one all right uh, so the final render settings let me show you my render settings mm. you have 1k you can switch it to 2k let's switch it to 2k and uh, in the annual make sure your camera is somewhere around 8 to 10 we have no diffuse going on so you can pretty much make this zero and uh, we have lots of lots of speculars keep this five we have to keep the transmission to somewhere around eight all right and no subsurface scattering so zero you can also do if that's too much for you can also put around like six and in the ray depth which is your gi uh, you have no diffuse going on but you can keep it if you want and transmission is already set to 8 which is like barely enough more than enough actually so that's it all right so that's it for today i hope you like this video and hopefully you got something out of this and uh, if your scene is pretty grainy or you can say a uh, little noisy make sure to increase a lot of samples in your transmission and speckler and you'll be good to go enjoy creating custom glass Oh,